How you doing everybody? Mirror Man here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to check out the new creative mode in Planet Crafter. With the volcanic update, they added this feature to be able to create a creative mode game. And I figured let's figure out how we can use it and all the cool things that you can do while you're in it. So let's jump straight in. All right, before we do that, just a big spoiler warning. When you hit the Q key here, this is in my normal game right now, so nothing beyond what I can craft is you're able to see here. However, when we are in a creative mode game, when I hit Q, every single item that you can craft in the game will be available to me. So if you do not want any spoilers if it's things you haven't seen yet or don't want to see until the right time if you're either following me on my playthrough which you should be or you are doing it yourself and don't want to see just be warned there are, there are spoilers all right okay so let's jump in and figure out how we can start creative mode game okay first and foremost here we are at the main screen and as you can see, when we go to hit play, we have the option under new game of instead of just a standard game, creating a creative game. Boom. Now I've got one creative out there just to test this, but this that's why it names it dash two. The annoying thing here, and I find this annoying thing in a lots of games is that they don't give the ability to Rename the save. Uh, no matter how much clicking anything I do, you can't do it. But such is life. You just got to memorize whatever number you have. If you're going to do multiple, cre multiple creative games, which one you're working on. It's not the greatest, but hey, you can get around it. When you hit the little gear icon, you have a few options to you. Now, the mode, obviously, is we've already selected the landing site. You can land absolutely anywhere you want. And that really is up to you whether or not you like to go to somewhere you haven't been to before or just a random place. I'll just stick with standard because the whole point of this is just seeing what you can do. Dying, no consequences. Obviously, you don't want any consequences, but you're not going to die because if you look here, vitals depletions, you will never lose any vitals. Oxygen, food, water, you name it. Nothing's going to happen. These are meteor events. I'll come back to that in a second. Meteor events, how often they happen. The higher number is more, and that's the normal number. I, I don't need to change that. Power consumption is just, you know, lower value, reduce how much you use versus uh, amazing it and saying you use more. I, I, it doesn't matter, none of that. And all these things are what are automatically checked when it's a creative game you can hit randomized doors if that's your thing but really the creative mode is mostly about grilling out there testing out uh, building and seeing what it's like so i wouldn't do that just like in minecraft if you're gonna build some enormous building you want to go into a creative mode game and see what it's like and then do it in the real thing that's what this is really for now the transformation pace that will tell you how fast it'll go from one phase to the next. Um, it's creative mode. You put down one thing, it starts flying through. You can double the speed because at the end of the day, all we really care about is getting the planet the way we want it to look and then have being able to build a base. That's how I use creative mode. Of course, you might use it differently just to go find out where things are. That's absolutely fine. So, but I'm going to go with that. I'll hit those settings and let's jump straight in. Okay, here we are in our brand new creative mode game. Look at that. We can't fly. We can't do anything. But the one thing you want to know is that you can craft anything you want you hit that Q button boom you're now crafting so let's say we want the ultimate power right right there nuclear fusion let's click on it looks like you got oh we don't have enough resources oh no click on that baby and guess what boom he didn't need resources 
The cool thing is with this, if I de oh, I can't deconstruct. I forgot I got nothing. Uh, <laughs> right. So that reminds me, if you go into one of these crafting machines and you say, right, I want a deconstruction chip, you just click on that, boom. Now you have one and then boom, you can now go in there, click, gone. And you don't get any of those resources back. So it never clogs up your inventory. Pretty cool. Right, let's throw another one of those things back down. And there we are. Now, uh, that means that you, I, mean, I can't flip, nothing can go up uh, very quick, but you don't have to run around picking up anything off the ground just to be able to do all the things you want to do because that's not the point of it. So now that we've got that bad boy up, let's uh, go with the ultimate drill. Oh, T5, there you go, even bigger. These things are humongous and then look at your transformation index it's flying not only because we put up one of these things real quick but because we've doubled the speed that we were going to do things at which is also pretty cool so now what we want to do we want to test out a few things let's get the big giant base uh unlocked um right there the three by three uh, let's not put it here because everything's gonna go underwater tell you what i'm gonna go set myself up oh that's loud rip someplace flat and i will show you what we can do up there so that way we're not when it changes we're not underwater okay i'll be right back Okay, so what I've done is I've set us up with some power here, just sitting randomly on the ground. I put these two screens over here so you can see, watch them go up. Let's uh, put a few drills down and watch the magic as we fly through now. Okay, we'll put, we'll put a bunch, one, two, oh, so loud and three okay boom now let's just go in here and check it out and watch how fast everything is just flying okay even though our oxygen isn't going up everything else is going up and we are just gonna go rip roaring right through all of our different stages boom look at that boom and what it doesn't do which is a real cool thing is it doesn't tell you all the new different blueprints you get because you don't really need to know those things so let's get our oxygen up let's see what's the thing that is going to give us the most oxygen that we could possibly get um it will be oh that's insects that's oxygen there we go we'll get a couple biome t2 biomes look at that it's uh we'll just stick them anywhere randomly okay boom one there and can we do it there there you go oh we got a third one okay boom all right now let's go take a look at our screens and see what it looks like and look at that it's just flying through the roof it's ridiculous now we have put some more big giant heaters let's put them anywhere right big giant heaters where are you big giant heaters you are t5 heaters look at that okay one uh, two and uh, three okay good and that will start to terraform even faster look at that it's just crazy fast how that does it right so now we have seen that we can build anything we want we have unlimited amount of resources and what else can we do well Let's say you want to journey to some place safely. You're like, all right, I, I, I've always wanted to go walk along some edges of something and I never can figure it out. Oh, you know what? There's a place. I'll show you a place that I always wanted to do it. Let me go. It's just over by the starting place. Uh, hopefully we can get there before any lake starts setting in. Uh, over along there, there's kind of an... Oh, look, they're coming already. How about that? There is a ledge. And I always wanted to get up, but I've never remembered to do it in time. So let me set myself up, walk along there, and I'll show you. I mean, I'm not saying there's anything up there. Again, I've never done it, but I'm going to go get myself up that ledge. And that's part of the exploring that you can do in this game. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself one foundation, raise it up as high as I can. And then 
get myself up on top of it and I'm just gonna keep on putting these up here until I can get as high as I want okay all right well I might need to might need to do it differently of course it always is gonna go black and dark as soon as I go to do a video but all right let me set it up and I'll bring it back all right here we are I've managed to get myself up here. There is the ledge that I always wanted to walk around. And if you notice over there, look at that, a golden crate. So I told you there were spoilers. Didn't realize that was gonna happen, but okay. And see, so now I can walk up here because I, oh, I fell off, of course. But you get the point is that, oh, look at that. Didn't realize you can hurt yourself in creative mode. That is something I just discovered. But the point is, that I can now just get myself up to where I want it to be without having to go through all the stuff of trying to gather the resources to do it. All right, I'm determined to get over here. Can I just put a thing out here? Will that allow me to? There you go, see? Look at that, see? Ah, we are over here where I didn't, where I've never been before. Cool. I wonder if I can die. You want to see? We'll figure out if we can die. All right, let's do it. Ready? Jump. Go. Oh, wow. Really injured myself. Nice and good. Oh, you know what? That's where I wanted to go. Even higher. Okay, I'm going to get even higher now and see if I can do it. I wonder what happens when we die. We'll figure it out together. There you go. Now look how high I am. I'm up here where I've never been before. I usually wouldn't have never wasted any resources trying to figure this out. But yeah. Now I can just have a play and see what it looks like if I wanted to. Pretty cool. Right. So, what else can we do? Let's test. Oh, you know what? I said I was going to test dying. I'm going to test dying. Let's test it. I didn't think you could die in this, but now we are going to see for ourselves. Is that far enough? Oh, I guess I'm over. Oh, man. I didn't die. Let's. Yeah, that was pretty close. Let me try it. One more jump. I bet you that'll bring us all the way down. Let's get up here. Let's get up here. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Let's uh, jump and see if death happens. No. So you can go all the way down to zero health. Ooh. Oh, wait. Nope. Yes. There it is. You can die in creative mode. Bizarre. Okay. Well, now you know the answer to that question. Right, the next question I wanted to answer is when I used to use a little mod for creative mode is how high can I build? It was a limit of 14. So I'm going to test this out. Oh, I should have hit control. All right, let's uh, test how high we can do this. All right, I have no idea how high I am. I've not counted. I stopped counting after a while, but clearly to say 14 is not the limit. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can push it up any higher, but look, we are just so high up here. I wonder, there's gotta be a build limit. There's gotta be. All right, let me see if I'm gonna figure it out. I have to do it, right? I, I don't know if there is a build limit. I mean, look how ridiculously high we are. What I'm going to do is I am going to deconstruct one side of this so we can just get to see. But I mean, this is ridiculously high and they still haven't hit any ceiling. But I'm going to count on my way down and I'll let you know exactly how high I've made this. All right, here we are. And that tower right there is exactly 49 uh, bases tall. And that is not the limit. If anybody wants to test the limit and let me know exactly high, how, how high you can build, let me know. Feel free to leave a comment and show it off. But uh, really, the possibilities are endless with this. Now, I know this game is not the best when it comes to building. Some uh, You can't, can't even annoyingly go anywhere near any of these things. You have to all i mean there's anything that clips is a, just a no-no and if you hit the ground that's a no-no it's just it becomes quite challenging although the foundations can go all the way like that the minute they come anywhere near one of these rocks ugh, it's end of the line for you pal the other thing is that the grid system i mean it's 
you can oops sorry you are stuck in this grid system you can never rotate beyond that it's uh, that if i wanted to face something that way so to speak nope done out of that of the question you just can't do it which is uh Again, it's a limitation. It is uh, it is what it is. But maybe the fact that they have gone through the trouble of implementing a creative mode, maybe that means they might put something in there, make it uh, so the building becomes a bit better. Who knows? That's what we got to find out. So the final thing is, if you want to be creative, get in there and experiment. This is your opportunity to do so. If you've got a pretty cool base design you want to show off, let me know. Uh, leave a comment or a link to it. I'd love to take a look at it and let you guys show me what you can do with the new creative mode here in Planet Crafter. So that is going to wrap up this video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know. Uh, leave a comment. Leave a like. If there's something I missed out in this creative mode and you want to ask questions, feel free and share anything that you might have picked up in your experimentation of the new update of creative mode in Planet Crafter. So thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you had a good time. I had a great time as always. And until the next one, I'll see ya. That's just ridiculous.